Mom's Bluff is a quick-paced game of strategy and wit for three to five players. The object of the game is to have more cards than your opponents at the game's end. This is possible by winning cards from other players in rounds. Win rounds by having the best or highest card, or by bluffing the table. How to play Mom's Bluff In every deck there are two cards with rules. Five sets of cards ranging from 1 to 10 in numerical value and three sets of Mum's Bluff cards with a numerical value of 0. Open the deck of cards and set aside the two cards with rules. Thoroughly shuffle the cards and distribute them one at a time to each player until every card is dealt. At the completion of the deal, some players will have one more card than others. This is okay. All players should place their stack pile of cards in front of them. Play will continue clockwise in this manner. The dealer begins play, looking at the top card of his or her pile and decides whether to fold or play. Players that decide to play their card will say play and hold their card without revealing it. Players that decide to fold will immediately put the card they're holding plus one additional card from the top of their deck into the center of the table, known as the pot. Play will continue clockwise in this manner. Players may fold when they have a card with a low numerical value. They may play with a strong numerical valued card, or if they think they can bluff the table into believing they have a strong card. Like poker, it's important that players go in order and do not reveal their intention to fold or play before it's their turn. Once everybody has declared their intention to fold or play, one of three scenarios will be present. 1. All but one player has folded, whereby the lone person to play wins by default. This person may have had a good card or just decided to bluff with a weak card. He or she wins the pot, taking all of those cards and placing them at the bottom of his or her stack. 2. Two or more players decide to play. In this scenario, those who have decided to play reveal their cards. The player with the highest card wins the round. Players that decided to play who did not have the highest card must put the card they just lost along with three additional cards from the top of their pile into the pot. The player who won the round takes all the cards in the pot, placing them at the bottom of his or her stack. 3. Two or more players play. But two people have a card of equal value, which sets off a war. Wars are decided by each player putting three cards face down and flipping their fourth card face up. The numerically stronger flipped card wins. Wars always take precedence over another player with a higher card. Thus, if three people decide to play, one person has a seven and the other two players have a three. The person with the seven will place it into the pot, while the two players with three will war to win the round. Sometimes players will flip cards of equal strength or same numerical value during a war. If this occurs, they continue the previous process. An additional scenario involves the Mum's Bluff card. Mum's bluff cards are a useful strategic gamble for extracting additional cards from players. If a player decides to play and is holding the Mum's bluff card, they can increase their earnings from the pot if they are the only player to stay in. After successfully bluffing everyone out with the Mum's bluff card, each player who folded must put an additional three cards into the pot, as if they played and lost. Cumulatively, each player who lost will now have placed five cards into the pot, two upon folding, and three more when losing to a player who successfully used the Mum's Bluff card. It's important to note that a Mum's Bluff card is only useful for bluffing. It has a numerical value of zero and will lose to any other card. Therefore, if someone in sequence declares that they are playing, it's better to fold a mum's bluff card. When a player's stack of cards is depleted, he or she is eliminated from the game. Rounds continue as described until there are only two players remaining in the game. Additionally, players who run out of cards during a war lose. 
The game ends when there are only two players remaining. Players count their cards to see who has the most. The person with the most cards wins the game. For a longer lasting game or games with more people, take two decks and add them together. 